What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I could have some amazing news but then again it could just be a load of fan made bullcrap but it's definitely worth a cover in a video anyway. But before we get into the video if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem simply drop a like on this video and tell me what your favourite past raid weapon is. The winner will be picked in a few days so keep an eye on your YouTube sub box. Okay, so just over a few hours ago, I was tweeted this image right here you guys are seeing on screen now. It shows what seems to be remakes of all, well, most of the old raid weapons, then from the Volta Glass and then from the Crota's End raid. Now, looking at them for the first time, to me, they do look legit, but I just don't know. I don't know. People have got so much times on their hands nowadays. You just never know. But I'll go through the weapons and the perks on them anyway. And I'm sorry if you can hear the noise in the background of cars and shit. It's because it's really hot here at the moment. I've got my window open. But yes. Okay, so the first one we can see is called Beginning and End. It's a hand cannon. And these are obviously the Volta Glass weapons or the remakes. So the first one is Beginning and End. Oracle Disruptor. This weapon does bonus damage to Oracles in the Vault of Glass. Then we've got Lightning Firefly. Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode with Arc Energy. I mean, who comes up with these things? It's just ridiculous. Then we've got Vision of Separation, obviously the remake of the Vision of Confluence. It also has Oracle Disruptor and then it has Zen Eclipse. Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability and makes the next precision shot have solar energy. Because if you all remember, the Vision of Confluence was a solar burn weapon. Possibly one of the best weapons ever to come into Destiny. Then we have Prey Death's Ending. Hidden Lightning. Missing a shot from this weapon's burst will fire a fourth shot with arc energy. Then we have Atheon's Introduction. Glass Half Negative. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage and has void energy. Then we have Kabar's Companion. Pocket Puncher. Precision hits will charge your melee. Weapon will be used as melee when equipped and will cause bonus damage. Now that's just ridiculous. I mean, like, like I said, I've checked the database, I cannot find these. I've checked Reddit, I cannot find these. I've searched Google, I cannot find anything on any of these. Whether they've just been data mined or they've just fan made, I have no idea yet. Okay, so let's move on to the Crota's End Raid remake weapons. We've got the Word of Taken, obviously suggesting if these were legit that the Crota's End Raid will return with Taken themed. Okay, so the Word of Taken, obviously the remake of the Word of Crota. Will of Light, this weapon does bonus damage to Taken enemies. Then we have Blighted Gift, rapidly landing 3 precision hits, returns around to the magazine that does void damage. Then we have Strings of Ear Yut, Taken Mark, Enemies that are hit with this weapon are highlighted and shown on radar better. Enemies that are marked will take arc precision damage by this weapon only. Then we have Blighted Edict, Blight Breaker. This weapon does bonus damage to Taken Summons and Projectiles, destroy Taken Vandal Shields and cause bonus damage to Blights. And then we have the Abyss Taken, Taken Lich Bane. This weapon has a chance to disorient Taken Wizards. Then we have Focused Hipfire. This weapon has focused and hit fire at the same time. Precision shots will have solar energy. And then we have string of blight. Connecting fate, rapidly landing three precision shots will create a taken chaser orb that will go after the target. It works on multiple enemies and cannot be destroyed. Now these do sound legit and I mean if they are fake and are fan made, it's taken a genius to come up with them. I mean look at the images, they look absolutely, they look like they've been data mined. But like I said, all in all, do not get excited. These could be fan made, which I'm probably heading towards. I mean, because there's no leak from anywhere else, and I can't find anything of any of these weapons on Google Reddit or in the database. But still, they are pretty badass if they are fan art. And it's definitely worth me making a video to cover them, anyways. It's definitely worth you guys seeing these and checking them out. Now if you do know where these have come from and if you know the creator of these, if they are fan made, let me know down below in that comment section and I will give all credit to them in that video description. But yes guys, let me know what you think about these down below in that comment section. To me, they kind of look badass, but yes, I could be jumping to conclusions, I could be just overhyped because I want the old raids to return. But let me know what you think down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never 
getting right. 